and six. We almost won a state senate seat when I came within one percent of defeating a 20-year-old incumbent senator. Maltese. In fact, if the election was governed by the rules that apply to other states, my worthy opponent could not have combined the third party lines or the votes from the smaller parties uh, and uh, to his main party line. And as the daily news in the New York Times and so on, you can rule it, you will see it, it speaks past me. Currently, Richmond Hill, Ozone Park, South Ozone Park, Woodhaven, Brywood, and these communities are cracked in the numerous city council districts, state senate districts, assembly, and congressional districts. Consequently, there is reduced effectiveness of problem solving. Shared bonds are destroyed, and constituents are reduced to mere statistics. Richmond Hill, Ozone Park, South Ozone Park, and Woodhaven should constitute one assembly district. And Briarwood, Jamaica Hill, Jamaica Essex, Bellrose, and Queens, Village, Flora Park, and Den Oaks should constitute another adjoining assembly district. And I've shown the maps there and the data that supports that. Therefore, it is respectfully submitted that this August body has not fully complied with all of the factors the Supreme Court is recognized in drawing the districts. One, compactness and contiguity, respecting political subdivisions, preserving communities of interest and race, meeting political goals. Federal courts have recognized cultural background, economic status, common media markets, shared community services, and organizations, including health clinics, stores, public transportation, and workplaces, voting patterns, common language and dialects, and common country of origin as factors, and shared community concerns in drawing district lines. To sanction the proposed 80 to 24 only short changes these vibrant communities of interest. Here we are not asking you to configure a district in two counties or three, it was done in con congressional districts 7 and 12 respectively, where the courts have upheld the community of interest doctrine as legal and have kept these communities together across different county lines of Queens and the Bronx and Queens, Manhattan and Brooklyn respectively, in Diaz and Silva, in a constitutional challenge in New York's 12th congressional district, as we successfully argued that Asian Americans of Manhattan's Chinatown and Brooklyn's Sunset Park neighborhood constituted a community of district of interest that should be kept together within a single district across county lines. Rather, we are merely advocating and reiterating what you've heard today, uh, that uh, you keep this one, keep Richmond Hill, Ozone Park, South Ozone Park, and what even together, utilizing this map. And if I can hear from the audience, is anyone in agreement with me that yeah. Ozone Park, Richmond Hill, and South yeah. Ozone Park, very strong force from them. They really want you to keep this uh, community of interest together. And I thought that would be the best way of defining uh, the, the, uh, the clamor for it. And secondly, to make Briarwood, Jamaica Hills, Jamaica Hest Estates, Bellrose, Queensville, and Flora Park, and General Reynolds, another assembly district with another 185,000 constituents. And logically, you can create a state senate district by adding these two community of interest, clusters of both of these assembly districts, which conform to size, compactness, and contiguity with 377,000 uh, constituents, give or take. This is where the critical mass of this community of interest is. And I challenge this esteemed panel to produce a more compact and contiguous district. It's uh, over six minutes. Could you sure. uh, tend to summarize? And I just want to mention too that in Richmond Hill, we have two uh, district leaders. And you know the two district leaders constitute an assembly district. We have Dr. Raj Tashkumar, district leader in this same district, and myself. So if you want to do the math to do it politically, demographically, or otherwise, you have enough statistics, you have enough um, stuff. You've already assemblyman David Weapon testify also to keep, the, uh, keep uh, Richmond Hill whole. Uh, I therefore behold this community, that this uh, panel, that you keep that community together. In as much as we've been legally advised that we have uh, legal ground for redress, I have confidence that this community will do the right thing and it will draw us a map that is contiguous, compact, concise, and compact, and it will do what you are uh, legally mandated to do. I thank you very much. Thank you.